Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a sit down, which I'm so excited to do because I have not sat down to talk to you guys in forever. And this is the first time I'm sitting down to talk to you guys since I announced that I am pregnant with baby number three. And I just wanted to say, first and foremost, that we have gotten so much support and like people have just said congratulations and that they're so excited for us. And, um, you know, I posted th about it on my Facebook and, you know, to family and friends. They all saw the video. That's how we announced it. And everyone has just been so great and loving and um, supportive. And I'm just so grateful for that. But family and friends, they have been awesome. But I just can't believe the amount of support that I'm getting my YouTube family. And I'm so excited for that. You guys are so awesome. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who reached out to congratulate us and wish us well with baby number three. And what I decided that I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing these pregnancy updates. I'm not going to do them every week because I feel like a lot of stuff doesn't change every week. A lot of stuff stays the same. Um, but I am going to do them every couple weeks, you know, depending on what's going on. Uh, like if I have an ultrasound or um, if I have like a lot of stuff I want to tell you guys, then I'll go ahead and make a video. But um, so I'm going to film, film these every couple weeks. And right now I am actually 12 weeks pregnant. I can't even believe I'm 12 weeks pregnant already but it does it has felt like forever because I have been so so sick it is awful with Brantley and Deacon I really had easy pregnancies I can't complain it has been or it was just really easy and everyone would say oh I'm sick or I have this my back hurts and this and I really didn't have I had little things and little you know things that hurt me and but it really wasn't that bad at all you know I just had really easy pregnancies I enjoyed it I loved being pregnant and um, yeah it was all good and then when I got pregnant this time it's been yeah it's been really really hard um, I have just been so so sick you guys and not necessarily like throwing up although I have thrown up a few times it's just nauseous all day and with the boys I was a little bit nauseous in the beginning only like the first couple weeks I was nauseous but I would eat and I'd feel better and this time it's like I can't even eat it just like at all the food sounds terrible um, even water water is like just tastes bad to me it's so weird I don't know but uh, and then I'm just extremely extremely tired and a lot of that I'm sure has to do with chasing two toddlers around all day but I am very very tired and that's another symptom that I've been having but I wanted to say something first uh, a lot of people said when we posted the video they said oh I knew it from you know the boys are sharing a room together and I knew that as soon as you put them in a room together that you were pregnant and blah 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 but that has nothing to do with baby actually um actually I moved Deacon over with Brantley because he is potty training and um, I really wanted to get him into the bed before I started the potty training he just takes off his diaper and he is just ready to be potty trained he goes on the potty sometimes you know he'll just take off his diaper and go so I'm I've decided I'm gonna have to potty train him soon so in order to do that he can't be in the crib anymore we don't have a conversion for our kit for our crib and eventually that will be for the baby but um you know I wanted Brantley never got a big boy bed so we decided to get these little um, this is kind of like a bunk bed from Ikea, which I'm actually going to be doing a video on their room in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so we switched him over to that bed and I wanted to transition him to that bed before I potty train him because that's going to be another transition. So that is why he is in a big boy bed now, not anything to do with baby. Um, because if you guys know, I'm not sure if you know or not, but I, we, uh, co-sleep. So the baby will probably be in our bed for the first at least six months, um, if not more. So that room, Deacon's, you know, old room is not going to be used by the baby for at least a year from now. So, or longer than a year from now. So that had nothing to do with the baby, but um, 
that was funny that everyone said that. And then the other thing is, people are asking if we are going to find out the gender, and we are going to find out the gender. Uh, and then they're also asking me, like, what do I want, a boy or a girl? And in the beginning, in the first couple weeks, I was like, I want, we want a girl, or I want a girl. My husband wants a boy, he wants another boy. But um, I was just thinking, I want a girl. I, you know, I already have two boys, I want a girl. But now, I'm thinking that, I'm not sure, I think I, like, I would be okay with a boy too because um, I love my boys, I like know everything about the boys, I feel like we have everything for boys um, and just the way, I, I don't know, I just feel like I'd be definitely happy if it was a boy. So. I I don't I can't really lean either way now. Um, like I said in the beginning, I was thinking I want a girl, but now I'm I'm not sure what I want. So whatever God gives us, that's what we'll take. The healthy baby is really all that we can ask for, and um, you know we're blessed to have this gift and have the gift of having three babies now, and we're just so excited. So. Um, you know, boy or girl, we will be so happy either way. And I always wanted four kids. I always wanted three boys and then a girl. So we'll see. Um, if this one's a girl, we might be done. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. But I did want to say also, too, that uh, we were not trying, but not not trying. Uh, we had planned to try in the fall for baby number three. But we weren't being careful or anything. So... Uh, you know, baby three was not uh, was not necessarily planned, but wanted. So <laughs> it just was a couple months um, earlier than we had thought. But it's good because the boys are both born in November, so this will be a totally different time of year, March. So we are excited about that. And I wanted to mention that too before I went ahead and told you guys the rest of my symptoms and cravings and all that good stuff. So that is that. Okay, so now I wanted to talk to you guys more about the symptoms I've been having and what's been going on. So like I said, I've been sick. I've been so sick. Um, I can't really cook dinner um, or haven't been able to cook dinner for the first couple weeks uh, for a while because I found out I was pregnant around, I want to say three weeks maybe, three weeks or four weeks maybe, and at week like five, I started getting sick, so sick. And I couldn't even look at food, I couldn't cook, I, everything sounded terrible, like it would make me gag to think about food. And so I just had a really, really hard time. I was kind of feeding everybody whatever worked because I just, I couldn't even look at it. So, um, yeah, I just didn't eat a lot and yeah, I don't know, but it's now, it's getting a little bit better. It's still pretty bad. I was doing um, like ginger and peppermint oil and um, let's see what else. I did the lollipops. I did, uh, people said your stomach's empty. That's why you're sick. I don't even know where I was going. <laughs> I've been so forgetful this pregnancy. Like I can't remember anything. So basically I've just been, I've been really sick and I've never experienced this before. So this is a little bit new to me, but also being tired. Um, I remember being very, very tired with both Brantley and Deacon in the beginning. Although this time it just feels a lot worse. I feel like I just can fall asleep at the drop of a dime. Like I could fall asleep at nap time and I usually do. And it's not on purpose. It's just because I'm so tired. I lay down with them to take a nap and I'm out like that. And, um, you know, it is what it is, and nighttime, same thing, I'm out cold, so that is why I have not posted that many videos. I have not had any time because I'm just so exhausted, tired, or feeling so, so, so sick. So, um, yeah, it has not been easy. I feel like I'm somewhat getting out of it because I've been eating the last maybe two weeks. I've been eating a lot. Um, I eat a lot of junk though. I feel like it's junk because I don't normally eat like this, but I can't look at vegetables or like meats. I don't know, meats make me sick. Sometimes I can eat them, most times I can't though. Any kind of thing like pizza or breakfast sausage or um, bacon or anything that's greasy like chicken fingers, that just makes me feel so, so sick and uh, like gag because it's just, yeah, it's just, um, crazy and gross. <laughs> Basically I've been eating carbs, fruit, and 
dessert chocolate that sort of oh I like cereal I do like cereal that has been um, something that I've been liking recently but that's only probably the last I want to say no you know what I think it's only been like a week that I've been feeling somewhat better so many carbs you guys but that's the only thing I can eat I don't know what else to do I mean that's all I can do right now is eat whatever sounds good and I've tried like I've tried to eat stuff and I'll take like a bite or two out of it and I just can't even it just makes me gag it makes me feel so sick so you know what I'm gonna eat those carbs and that dessert and the fruit and it is what it is um, and if I gain a lot of weight that's all I mean that's that it is what it is what am I gonna do um, hopefully it's just for the beginning hopefully you know I can get back on track and eat better but we shall see another symptom that I've been having too which could be the terrible eating that I'm doing but I have been breaking out like crazy and I haven't had pimples in forever and I seriously have been breaking out like crazy yeah not looking that good here but like I said I've been forgetful so I wrote down you know what I need what I need to go through or tell you guys because um, I knew I would forget. So around eight weeks, I started spotting a little bit. Um, I had a little bit of brown spotting, and I was very, very nervous about that. And um, I ended up getting checked out and everything, and it was fine. But it just worried me so much. So that was another thing that I had. And I don't, I don't remember having it with the boys, but Kyle says that I had it with Brantley. So um, I might have had it with Brantley. He says I did. I don't really remember but uh, yeah I had a little bit of spotting it was only like two days and it didn't last it went away and that was that so I don't know what it was but it was fine and yeah the other thing with baby number three is that I am showing so, I should so early so I am like really like I sh I'm showing a lot right now and um, you know, I, when I went to the doctor, actually, she said, and she checked me out because of the spotting, she said, your uterus is very, very enlarged, but that's totally normal for, you know, your third child, your uterus expands quicker, your body knows what it's doing, it goes back to, you know, I guess, like, you know, it knows what it's doing. So, um, and also, the kids are very close in age, Deacon and Brantley are almost two years apart, but not two years apart and again and this baby will be not even a year or no not even two and a half years i think they'll be two years and four or five months apart so not even two and a half years so my body has gone through a lot in the last you know five years so yeah i can't help that i'm showing so much but i had to show tell uh family a lot earlier because I did not have a stomach and I popped real quick so I am definitely showing and I'm totally like jumping around right now but I wanted to tell you guys too that I've also been craving like chips and um, iced tea I'm, I'm not like an iced tea. I drink water that's it that's all I drink I don't even drink milk normally um, so I only drink water and I've been craving iced tea. We went to a birthday party and there was Snapple and I had one and ever since then I've been wanting Snapple. So Snapple peach is like what I've been <laughs> craving. With Brantley I gained 60 pounds. I ate whatever I wanted. I did not care and I was like I'm pregnant I'm gonna eat whatever I want. And then with Deacon, like, oh my gosh, I gained 60 pounds with Brantley. I need to like chill out this pregnancy. I need to gain less and you know, I'm gonna have a toddler take care of whatever. So I was trying to gain less and I worked out until I was eight months pregnant and I also ate so healthy. I remember people saying like, you're pregnant. Why are you eating salads? Why are you eating this? Why are you eating veggie, veggies? And I don't know, like I would just eat good and I was really good at you know like saying no to everything but um I still gained like 55 pounds with Deacon so this time I am just going for walks taking care of the kids running around after them I have no energy to work out right now um but you know outside of like taking walks and all that stuff but uh and then as far as eating like I said I've been sick so I'm just eating whatever I can eat or whatever goes down and stays down so um I'm not worrying about the weight this time I'm just gonna kind of I mean I'm gonna try to eat healthy if I can when I can um you know if this nauseousness goes away 
but um, if it doesn't, you know, I'm just gonna do what I can because, you know, I'll work for it later. And I lost both the weight with Brantley and Deacon, so, um, so this time I'm just gonna have to worry about it later. I'll lose the weight later. So, but yeah, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of complaining in this video and I don't mean to complain. I really am truly, truly blessed and excited and happy about this baby. I just have been feeling like complete crap. And um, I'm really, really hoping that goes away so I can enjoy the pregnancy a little bit more. I feel like I've been a little snippy and, um, you know, like bitchy, kind of. So I'm just hoping that that goes away so that I can be, you know, enjoy the pregnancy a little bit more and eat normal and all that. But like I said, I think it's going away a little bit because the last week I've really been able to eat. So I think that it is going away and that I just have to stick it out a little bit longer. And now my doctor did say something about med like they have like a pill that you can take and I did look into that. Um, and I just figured that if it doesn't go away at 12 weeks or, you know, after the first trimester, maybe I would take something because I literally could not function at times. And, uh, but now uh, that it's kind of going away, I think I'm just going to not do that. I don't really want to have to take anything. Um, like I said, I've been using peppermint oil. I diffuse that and that helps a ton at night. Uh, but yeah, so the last couple days I haven't really been too nauseous. It's really been just at nighttime mostly. Sometimes in the morning if I'm hungry I'll get nauseous, but at nighttime I get very nauseous. It doesn't matter if my stomach's full or not. Uh, it just, I just get nauseous. And so I just pop um, peppermint and lavender in the diffuser and I go to bed and that helps a ton. It makes me feel less nauseous and it's really been working. So, um, let's see. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say too is that Brantley and Deacon and my husband and Kyle, they are all so excited about this baby. Um, Brantley is so excited. I'm not sure Deacon really understands what's going on, but Brantley is so excited. He asked to kiss his baby sister every night. Um, and I tell him that it might be a baby boy, it might be a baby brother, and he's still so excited. I said, will you be happy if it's, you know, a boy? And he said, um, yeah, I'll be happy, but maybe we could have both. <laughs> So I was like, well, there's only one baby in mama's belly. So, um, you know, we'll see. But I think he's hoping for a sister and Deacon just says sister because that's what Brantley says. And he's like a little, you know, he just monkey see monkey do. He does everything, says everything that Brantley says. So, um, yeah, but Brantley's very excited. He understands and he, he like has been wanting to wear his big brother shirts and everything all the time. He's just very excited and he asks when this baby gonna come out and <laughs> it's a while before that, but he's excited and we're all excited. My family's excited and um, we are going to be a family of five in March and we could not be happier and feel more blessed that God has given us um, another gift of a child and we are just so happy. So thank you guys so much again for all the support, the love, the comments, the reaching out, the messages I've been getting and I just feel so blessed to have you guys in our lives and um, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys. Stay tuned for more videos like this, uh, more videos of pregnancy updates that will be happening, um, you know, every couple weeks and I'll continue doing other videos as well, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this one up because I am 12 weeks now and I have not done one yet. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Almost forgot to show you, show you guys my belly, so let me go ahead and do that. So that is my little bump.